Welcome to this week's Fundraising Friday. This week, we're talking about ending the year strong for your annual campaign. Last week, we talked about how to have a very strong year-end mail appeal campaign. Today, we're going to talk about finishing your major gift campaign on a high note. If you watched last week's video, you know that one third of all donations get made during the month of December, with a large number of those being made between Christmas and New Year. If you watched last time, you know how to write a really strong year end appeal. But what about those major donors who don't receive those letters and for whom you are relying on personal contact to encourage them to give? What can you do to help finish strong in those areas? First of all, reach out to those donors. Don't think just because it's the end of the year, oh, they're busy and I can't talk to them. If you are an important organization to them, they will make the time. Second, when you do talk to them, your conversation should not just remind them about what you do and ask them for a gift, but explain to them why you need funding this year, why they're important, and how important it is that you receive the funding by the end of the year. Be careful you're not putting too much time pressure because you want to make sure they're giving on their time frame rather than on yours. The reality is if you get the gift on January 5th, you'll take it as well. It just has implications for their tax year. And you don't know, maybe they want it in next tax year because they maxed out their contributions for this year. But do make sure you reach out, out of sight, out of mind. You think about your organization 24-7 they don't. So help them to remember about your organization. Second, if you're having trouble reaching them by phone or in person, try sending them a personal letter, not your annual fund letter that goes to everybody else, but a nice handwritten note. You know, dear Jane, been trying to reach you. Just thank you so much for your previous gifts and talk about your giving for this year. Would love to talk to you. I'll continue to reach out. Um, if this isn't a, bit, a good time, let me know and we can talk in another time. That kind of uh, mail, first of all, they probably receive very little handwritten notes, but we'll let them know you're trying to reach them and why. Finally, Make sure that you are thanking them for their previous support. Make sure you are listening to them, especially in this economy. People who were major donors last year may need to take a break this year. And you want to listen to them with sympathy and empathy if their financial situation has changed. But at the same time, don't be afraid to tell them your needs. And don't be afraid to explain to them that the current economy is impacting you as well. And here's how. And here's how your gift can help all of us get through these troubled times and make a real difference for the organization. That's this week's Fundraising Friday. Thanks. Have a great weekend.